Hello, my name is John Gherkin of IBM's Emerging Technologies JSTART team. In this video, I'll be discussing one of a number of capabilities included in the new Widget Generation plugin for IBM Mashup Center, available via the Mashup Center Wiki and our JSTART website. I'm going to show you today an environment where a business end user, in this case a department manager for loan officers, will use data from a spreadsheet to create a widget that can easily move and interact with other widgets and data in IBM Mashup Center, WebSphere Portal, and WebSphere Business Monitor. Now let's get started. What you see here is a table widget created by a department manager using our tooling. To create it, he used data from a spreadsheet that he uses to track monthly loan statistics about his employees. In it, you can see he includes information such as the branch they work at, certifications that they have earned, and the number of different types of loans that they have completed during the past month. But what he'd like to do is be able to use this information in different enterprise applications so that he can leverage the unique data and facilities that each contains. So first, he moves this widget from the catalog to his Mashup Center Builder by clicking the Get This button in the lower left corner of the widget. In the Share This Widget dialog, each of the icons you see represents a target that this widget could be deployed to. So for this step, our user selects the icon for Mashup Center. He then would enter his credentials and click the Next button. He then selects the drawer in which he wants to insert the widget. We'll select Demo. And then he clicks the Next button to deploy the widget to the Mashup Center Builder. From this landing page, we can then launch a new browser tab to open the Mashup Center Builder. This page is a mashup our manager uses to track things such as news about competitors and the office locations for his officers. You'll recall that we deployed our widget into the demo drawer, so if I click the Go to Edit button to edit my mashup, I can then click the demo drawer to find my widget, and then finally deploy my widget to the page. Now that my widget is in place, I can wire the widget to other widgets on my page, like I would any other widget in the Builder. By selecting the Click to Wire Widgets button, a wiring dialog will appear where I can associate actions in my widget with, that, with other widgets on the page. In this case, I select Location as Text, then pick the Navtech Map widget, and let the Navtech map widget know that I'm sending it location information that I would like it to map. Click the Done button to finish my wiring and then save my changes by clicking the Go to View button. And now you can see that by selecting different names, their statistics are displayed in the graph and their locations are displayed on the map. But what our manager might also like to do is use the same collection of employee data against corporate sales data available on a corporate sales portal. So to do that, instead of going back to the catalog, he does just like he did before. He moves the widget from the Mashup Center Builder to WebSphere Portal simply by kicking the Get This button and selecting the icon for Portal. He then enters his credentials. clicks Next, selects a drawer to deploy to, again we'll select Demo, then he clicks Next to deploy the widget to WebSphere Portal. Lastly, we can click the link here to open a new tab where we can log into WebSphere Portal. Pretty easy, huh? This page in WebSphere Portal represents a sales portal page that employees might use to track things such as bank-wide or branch statistics. You'll recall that we deployed our widget again into the demo drawer. So if I click the Go to Edit button to edit the mashup, I can then select the demo drawer to find my widget and then add my widget to the page. I wire this widget to other widgets on the page, just like I did in Mashup Center. I save my changes 
And now you can see that as I click on the various people in the list, their statistics are displayed in the graph along with statistics from their branch. However, there is still something missing. Data about the business processes required to complete a new loan. That information is stored in a tool such as IBM WebSphere Business Monitor. So once again, what our manager would like to do is use the same collection of employee data against the business process data stored there. So by now, what to do is obvious. Click the Get This button, select the icon for WebSphere Business Monitor, enter a username and password, click Next to retrieve the list of drawers, select a drawer, and click the Next button to deploy. This is a typical page one might see in WebSphere Business Monitor. All the widgets here are standard views into the system's data model for the processes it is configured to manage. Once again, now that my widget has been deployed here, we are able to tie it into this system through wiring. The UI is a little bit different here, so I'm going to minimize these widgets to give ourselves a little more room. Click Edit Page, find my widget, drag it onto the canvas. Now that it's here, I can select Edit Wiring and then select the appropriate types that match between the two widgets. And that's it. Now that I'm finished, I can select rows in my table. That will then show the alerts associated with each of those employees. So to summarize what we've shown here, we've shown how data on our fictitious manager's hard drive can now be used and integrated with disparate enterprise systems and interface with ad hoc, corporate, and business process data to produce a wide range of different views that would otherwise likely be difficult to obtain. Please note that our widget could also have been deployed to other platforms such as FileNet for document management, Rational Team Concert, Cognos BI, and many others. That concludes this demonstration. For more information about this demonstration and videos showing other features about our technology, please visit our JSTART website or the Mashup Center Wiki. Thank you very much for your time.